Simone Thomas. Instead of news and sports in this stream right now, we are just going to focus on weather because we're starting to see some more activity popping up across portions of northern and north central Arkansas. We got a number of severe thunderstorm warnings, the latest now coming out of Cleburne, Van Buren, Faulkner and Conway counties port those portions of the state due to 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hill. But we're going to start with the overview of the state and then zoom in on particular regions just to give you an overview of what's happening. So most of the storms right now developing north of that I-40 line. We are tracking a storm that looks like it's developing in Garland County just south of that line. But most of the activity is north of that I-40 line. As we look across the state at what's happening, we do have the first tornado warning that's up in full County and northern Arkansas with some severe thunderstorm warnings happening up there as well. So if you live between Mountain Home and Hardy, that storm headed towards um, Hardy, Arkansas, make sure you're getting into your tornado safe space. But again, that latest severe thunderstorm warning coming out for portions of um, Cleburne, Van Buren, Faulkner and Conway County. As we were talking, the um, National Weather Service has put out a special weather statement for that storm that I mentioned, of course, is coming out of Garland County, moving in to Saline County. Now, a special weather statement means that this storm is a bit on the strong side, but not strong enough for a severe thunderstorm warning. Right now, they're seeing winds in excess of 40 miles an hour are seen in this storm. So there's just a few things happening across the state right now. We've been getting so far out of these severe thunderstorms storm warning some pretty large hail. Chris, if you don't mind, let's take storm track 11 to look at that hail size that we're seeing right now and some of those severe thunderstorm warnings. Now, again, as I mentioned, the severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued for portions of Conway, Faulkner, Van Buren and Cleburne County. That was for that one inch or quarter size hail in this latest scan. It does have that hail size closer to three quarters of an inch. So that's what the latest scans. But if you if we take this back a couple scans ago, we did have that bullseye, that orange bullseye indicating one and a quarter inch size hail, which I think is why what prompted them to go ahead and issue a severe thunderstorm warning for that storm. But farther north, you know, these storms that have been impacting Baxter County and to Fulton County, we're seeing some large hail. We've seen some um, as big as golf ball to even baseball size hail so far this afternoon. I think currently we're still kind of in that orange bullseye, so closer to maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half size hail. If you don't mind taking me back to max one so we can look at some of those pictures we've gotten so far this afternoon. We've again been seeing some large hail reports. We thank you anytime you're able to safely get us those pictures. This is coming out of Fulton County in Viola, Arkansas. Um, the viewer sent this in with the caption of try to find the golf ball that there is a golf ball in that picture, but everything else is hail. So, so that just puts into perspective how large, <coughs> excuse me, some of these stones are now, of course, a lot of those stones closer to that golf ball size, but some of those stones even bigger look like they're closer to maybe tennis ball or even baseball size hail. We got another picture, <coughs> excuse me again, from the same person out of Fulton County, just very large hail. And, you know, we've been talking about it leading up to today that that was really going to be a big impact that we're tracking that hail size upwards of two inches or more in diameter. And as the evening continues, that's not out of the question for central Arkansas either. Right now, it's just been primarily a northern Arkansas thing. But as you see, we've got that first severe thunderstorm warning coming out in north central Arkansas. We'll likely see more of that through the evening. But as always, whenever you can safely get us those pictures, we definitely appreciate that. More will be developing over the next couple of hours. So again, we want you to put safety first, but when or if you can, send us those pictures at 501 Three seven six eleven eleven. Now we have a couple watches in effect right now across the state. Tornado watch for north central and northeast Arkansas until 11 p.m. And then a severe thunderstorm watch for west central and southwestern Arkansas until 10 p.m. So would not be surprised if more counties are added to either of these watches over the coming hours. But just right now where we've been seeing the development has been primarily across northern and north central Arkansas. Now we do have the THV 11 weather impact alert in effect. 
now until about four o'clock Monday morning. That's when we're really tracking things to start to move out of the state. But again, strong to severe storms, all modes of severe weather on the table. If you've been watching us, you know, you watched Tom earlier, you're watching me now, you're staying informed, which is great. Just make sure you have your plan, you have your tornado safe space plotted out, and you know where to go if a warning is issued. <clears throat> Currently, We've got some very warm, moist air happening across the state. That front that we've been tracking that a lot of this convection is happening ahead of is still kind of hanging out and within the Arkansas River Valley, some of northwestern Arkansas. But ahead of that, you see temperatures well into the lower and middle 80s. We even got some upper 80s. Texarkana clocking 90 degrees right now, but very warm, moist air. Those dew points in the 60s across the board. I mean, this is pretty much the ideal environment for those storms that warm, moist air. We've got the instability. We've got some shear, which the shear is a little bit better to our north right now. That's why we have been seeing some of that rotation to get that tornado warning in Fulton County. There's a little bit of that here in central Arkansas at 531 or excuse me, a couple minutes before that at 5. Um, 25 Dennis Cavanaugh with the National Weather Service did make mention that you know the low level wind shear so low level meaning closer to the surface is pretty good but not as good as that high level shear so high level means a little bit taller in the atmosphere so you know you need that shear for those storms to rotate for a tornado to develop right now we've got it a little bit better higher in the atmosphere than we do closer to the surface which means really for us the hail and the damaging wind threat is going to be what we see the most of right now. Not to say a tornado can't be possible, but it's likely in this type of environment, EF0 to EF1 strength tornado would be most likely. Now, but just again, looking at where those threats are, all modes of severe weather again on the table, but the hail threat is where we have that dashed or significant severe area pretty much for the state. And again, that's when we're anticipating two inch size or greater in diameter hail. They did take off the dashed area for the damaging wind threat, but still wind gusts between 60 to 80 miles an hour are gonna be possible. And then that tornado threat, we still have that significant severe area for areas east of central Arkansas in the Little Rock Metro. So we've still got a little bit of an evening ahead of us for some things to develop. We're gonna take this back to live radar for a moment before we look at the what's coming ahead. We just want to look a little bit more at what's currently happening because again, there's new things coming up by the moment. We have, you know, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings. Um, they did cancel that tornado warning early in northern Arkansas. It looks like with some of those later scans, the rotation doesn't look as impressive to warrant a tornado warning. But again, lots of all of these storms that are severe warned right now are producing large hail and primarily we're seeing the severe thunderstorm warnings north of that I-40 line, but south of that line, Garland County into Saline County, this storm that is between Hot Springs um, kind of along that Highway 70 line, this is producing some gusty wind as well. 40 mile an hour winds right now. They issued a special weather statement on that. That's what they issue when it's not quite strong enough for a severe thunderstorm warning, but it is strong enough to, to give some type of notice. So um, as we continue through the evening, Here's what we're tracking. We're going to first look at radar with the tornado risk because I know that is the big impact that everybody is wanting to be in the know about. That's the impact that if we see um, those warnings come down, we'll have to unfortunately break in, which we're coming up on six o'clock pretty quickly. We've gotten lucky so far to not have to interrupt any games. Hopefully we can stay that way between now and the duration of those games. But taking this forward a couple hours, once we get to sunset, we're seeing the best or the most abundant tornado risk across eastern Arkansas and some of southern Arkansas has it as well. But where you see those yellows and oranges kind of hugging the Mississippi River part of the state, that's where we have a little bit more of that significant tornado parameter at play. And at that point, you know, these storms that are right now impacting north northern Arkansas would be moving east into that part of the state. So that's definitely to watch out for if you live near the Jonesboro, Batesville area of the state. Now, by 10 o'clock, hopefully when you're joining us tonight for your news at 10, 
we're starting to see that line of storms developing as that cold front is actually starting to move further south and east of the state. The best significant tornado parameter or tornado risk continues to kind of hug the Mississippi River east of that Pine Bluff Stuttgart Monticello line. But some of those storms getting into southeast Arkansas could still give us a little bit of trouble through the evening. Now, just after midnight, looking at one o'clock, the tornado threat is moving a bit out of the state. We are still tracking some showers and thunderstorms developing at this point will likely be producing some hail and some wind. Um, we're going to play this for a couple more hours by about this time, 12 hours from now, 530 in the morning, looking to see the rest of the rain moving out of the state. So by the time you're waking up Monday, you won't have to worry about severe weather, but getting through the evening, especially the farther south and east you are, it will, you know, linger a little bit longer into the night. We're going to play this again, but now with the hail risk because we have been seeing such large hail this afternoon and that'll continue to be the case through the evening. So where you see the kind of whitish gray into the blue, that's saying, okay, hail is possible. But once you get into the purple, that's saying, okay, now two inch size hail or the significant severe hail is becoming increasingly likely. And then where you see that bullseye of orange kind of just off to our east along the Mississippi River, that's kind of saying, okay, two inch size hail is very likely. Maybe even the hail is bigger than two inch. So that's just kind of giving you a quick rapid fire demonstration of what that legend represents. But playing this forward a few more hours, we're definitely seeing that purple indicating that two inch size hail kind of along those counties hugging the Mississippi River in eastern Arkansas and then across southern Arkansas. But again, the storms at this point expected to primarily be in northeast Arkansas. So those storms could still be producing large hail is the point here. Now, through 10 o'clock, again, when that uh, more of that line is starting to develop ahead of that cold front that's moving through, definitely those southernmost storms have the potential or in an environment conducive for that two inch hail. These storms in central Arkansas and the blue could still be producing severe hail. Severe hail is one inch, but the larger hail will be more likely across southern Arkansas once we get beyond sunset. And then throughout the nighttime, the size of the hail or the likely size of the hill could be decreasing a two inch size hill environment starting to kind of creep south out of the state could still be seeing quarter size or one inch hail in those areas shaded in blue but we're definitely starting to see those um, severe impacts becoming uh, more severe versus significant severe and then again by around the five o'clock hour looking to see the rain exiting the state um, even beyond today this first week of April is looking to be a bit spicy. Now tomorrow's the 31st. Tomorrow into Tuesday, April 1st, are gonna be fairly quiet. You'll get some sunshine. But Wednesday the second, things start to pick back up. And then the rest of the week into much of next weekend looks to be pretty active. We are tracking numerous days of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And in fact, we've already got some concerns for severe weather down the line. This is a look at Wednesday, April 2nd. Well, that says Thursday, but this current map is for Wednesday, April 2nd. We've already issued a THV 11 weather impact alert for Wednesday because of this enhanced risk. And then getting into Thursday, we do have that slight risk. Now, if Thursday gets bumped up to an enhanced risk as well, you can expect another impact alert day, but we usually issue those when there is an enhanced risk at play. So Wednesday definitely gonna be the next day we want you to watch out for. But as you just saw, even beyond Wednesday and Thursday, up until about this time next week, we're going to be tracking some rain chances and the models are showing some pretty decent rainfalls. This is the Euro and what it's projecting. It has, you know, some of those higher totals or highest totals right now across southwest and southern Arkansas, you know, Hot Springs, Arkadelphia, based on this map, could see up to nine inches. Farther south, Monticello, maybe even Texarkana, seeing upwards of 10 inches. We're here kind of closer to home base in Little Rock and Pine Bluff, you know, five to five and a half inches. Now the GFS, a different model, highlights the highest rain totals across the the Arkansas River Valley and into North Central Arkansas, you know, meaning in Russellville, 
could see 13 to even 15 inches of rain based off of this particular model versus in Little Rock closer to six inches. So a little bit of a disagreement right now on where we're going to see the highest rain totals, but we'll definitely be tracking that through the week. And here is a, a quick glimpse at your week ahead since we won't get to look at the seven day again until later tonight at 10. Wednesday is that next weather impact alert day for strong to severe storms and the rest of the week is going to continue to be pretty active. So before we go, we're going to check in on current radar one more time and just look at where we have where we stand right now with active warnings. Um, currently our sole tornado warning is in northern Arkansas for Clay County, the storm impacting Clay County, but we do have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Um, severe thunderstorm warning right now. Um, I'm going to put this on now and pause this. So this storm right now impacting portions of Van Buren and Cleburne counties is in effect again for the 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. I think though with most recent scans with our hail product on Storm Track 11, that hail is not quite one inch yet, but Previous scans have showed that hail large enough to warrant a severe thunderstorm warning, which I think is why they're continuing to go with that warning. But farther north in the state, again, we still have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings happening. This is also the part of the state where we've seen golf ball to tennis ball, even some baseball hail up there. As we continue through the evening, we will continue to provide updates on our social medias while it's just severe thunderstorm warnings. If we get a tornado warning in central Arkansas, we will break into streaming again. Hopefully that will come after the game wraps up. And from my knowledge, the games are looking to end around six. So we're doing good right now to have to not break into any of the games. But just, you know, again, before we leave you, we do have some watches in effect. Tornado watch for north central and northeastern Arkansas until 11. And then severe thunderstorm watch in effect for west central and southwestern Arkansas until 10. So this kind of replaced our 530 newscast today just because we do have active weather. Our next newscast this tonight is scheduled for 10 as it always is, but that you know, bearing we don't have any active tornado warnings that will bring your news updates as well as your sports updates. And we'll be talking a little bit more about the rest of the week. But between now and then, make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings and that plan in place. And if anything changes, myself and Chief Meteorologist Tom Brandon are here and we'll be giving y'all updates. So with that, I'm going to leave y'all to the rest of your afternoon. Hopefully you can ha you've had a great spring break. You've had a great weekend so far and hopefully we can get through the evening without too much trouble as people are preparing for the week ahead. We'll see you again soon and have a good one.